to add diffusers and grills, we have this option here on the toolbar. And if you drop this down, there's a few options. Essentially, there is the shaped option of square, slot, or circular. And for each one of those, you can choose to either place it horizontally, like in a ceiling, or vertically, which would be in the wall. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the horizontal one. And as you can see, this will now snap to the flow system I had selected. If you didn't want it to snap, you can hold control and just place it wherever you want and connect it up manually. And you can also choose M to match the closest flow system. So as it gets close to the extract, it will then change. So you have the option of that. So wherever you want to place it, you can click and by default, it will look to add the calculated flow rate to it. So you can see it was around 85. Now it's nearly 43. And as we add another one, they will all split to be 28.5. Reason it's doing this is because if we click on the properties, they are just by default sharing the units. So each one shares it individually and we can change that. So if we did two, it then takes two out of four loads. We ended up going, whoops, through them all and put right in two. It's just going to split it evenly again. So just like this. There are other ways to do it. Like maybe you've not done your flow rate calculations in H2X, so this wouldn't work. In that case, you could just manually enter your flow rate. So you could just say, yep, five liters per second. The others will um, update because they were still on the share units. And you can also just do percentage of load too. So you could actually just say, yeah, you want 50% going through this one. And other than that, the properties you have down here, are you can change dimensions and you can also override the zeta value that comes default, or you can just choose to put in a fixed pressure drop. Like, yeah, maybe 10 pascals.